I'm here right now with photographer Karsten Fleck, and he's happily invited us to his Brooklyn home. Thanks so much for being here, Karsten. Thanks for inviting us in. I'd really like to start by asking you what or who inspired you to become a photographer, and what was that journey on to becoming a great photographer? Yeah, it's a long story. I mean, I, I kind of started as um, a banker, funny enough, what is uh, so the opposite of being a photographer, I guess. Um, when I was 16, 17, I didn't really know what to do, and I didn't really have like much support at home, I would say, that somebody would sit down with me and say, hey, what do you want to do? I mean, how do you feel? So my father had a travel agency, and so I thought going into that kind of direction would be a good idea. So I started in a bank when I was like 17, I guess. But I, I had a hard time getting up in the morning. I hated it from day one. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, putting me in a bank was not, not, not the greatest idea. And I, I have to say I'm still a little bit upset with my parents that I didn't take the time to sit down. I, I think that's a great thing to start with, that parents take the time to sit down with the children. And if Karsten's parents had sat down with him, they would have discovered their son was the creative type who loved exploring the outside world and had a playful attitude toward discovery. After working over five years in the banking industry, Karsten knew this was not his passion. One day I was just like, that's it, I'm quitting. So I, I resigned basically and I didn't really know what to do. So I kind of started like having jobs here and there. I worked in the bar, hard to believe modeling for a little while. And uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's... I can believe it. Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I don't know how I ended up there, but I ended up going to Barcelona for, uh, for a month to just check it out there and didn't really work out that well. So I come, came back and I was like, you know, this is maybe not for me. And uh, then a friend of mine who wanted to have some pictures for, um, for Christmas for his parents said, why don't you take some pictures of me? And I asked my grandfather who had like um, an SLR set and, and so I started and a couple of months later I was shooting for most of the... Uh, um, modeling agencies in Nuremberg in that small town and not that long after that I um, there's another fu another funny story in a way like if I met this guy randomly in the gym who was American and had a brother who lived in New York and he said one day Carson do you want to come to New York and visit my brother and yeah and that's how I ended up here. So for the past 14 years Carson has made New York City his home Finding inspiration through the ordinary leads to the extraordinary, and as Karsten showed me around the studio, I had to ask him what he most likes to photograph. What are some of the things that really excite you about shooting and some of the favorite subjects that you shoot? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's really, it's, I can't really put myself into any category because it's so, it's this kind of, it's 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 anything really you know I I just love to shoot to shoot I mean that's that's the that's the the, the main thing for me um, so it, it it can go from like doing a fashion project and then right away after that I shoot some still lives and then I move on to uh, like this project for example was about uh, it's called Shadow War it's about um, people who lived through the Second World War in Germany the idea was to show what people live through in war I mean it's kind of like an anti-war project. And with this latest project, Karsten is further stretching his artistic limits. I had to ask him if he ever had an aha moment, an occurrence when he just knew photography was a fit. I had an aha moment when I started in Germany, like the first few photo shoots I did, and I, I just knew, you know, photography was the thing I wanted to do. Uh, so all these uh, other jobs I did on the side, I, I just, I felt this, um, there was this feeling again of like, I'm like, locked in. I'm not, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. Uh, because I, I believe that every person comes here with something they're supposed to do. We like have a certain talent that we are supposed to express. What are some additional goals? What are some additional things that you're looking to pursuing? Well, for me, it was always, I mean, this is, um, at the end, it's not so much about photography. This is a spiritual journey. So uh, for me, it's, um, my goal would be like, yeah, to be more, to, to be able to let go, go even more of ideas I have um, um, about myself or the world and, and be more open to um, whatever life brings me. Let's imagine there's somebody staring at us right there from the camera and they're saying, oh my gosh, Carson, I'm so afraid. I love your story. You've been an inspiration to me. And I'm just really afraid to, to get off the couch and go after my dream. What advice would you give for them? Well, 
I've done it, and <laughs> you can do it too. I mean, it's, um, we all have it in us. All, it's not even like that, that you, have to, you have to learn anything. It's just you have to let go. You have to let go of ideas about yourself. Because we all have the power in us. I mean, everybody can live his or her dream.